people see this place to be like heaven. They think like as soon as you arrived, you know, you start plucking money off trees and picking them from the floor or wherever. But it's entirely different. I never dream of London. I can only see the buildings uh, and about the royal family in the movie. It's, we could call it British dream or English dream, London dream, you name it. I think you can make it. This is the new London. An immigrant megacity where nearly 40% were born abroad. I was born in London, but I no longer recognise the city. I'm in search of the stories that make up its new soul. I'm currently working in the cleaning industry. I'm a cleaner. How long is the commute? It takes me about an hour. And who are the people on the train in the morning? Well, you see a lot of people going to work, mostly immigrants, you know, going to work at this time of the day. London is changing. Around half the street sleepers are now Eastern European tramps. There's no go, no go, no go flag no. Is London difficult? It's difficult, yeah. I don't know English, I come in here, it's very difficult. The people who come in here must know the, the, the speak English language. It's the first. After the find the job, job have, England have the job. Nikolai is off to find work. But when it comes, it won't pay well. On the Romanian black market, the lowest wage I ever saw was one chicken and chips for a day's work. I come for the work in the street because I don't have another solution. We don't come to the make account bank because we don't have address. When we go in the agency, agency want account bank to pay me. Where they go? I go in the street. Nikolai touts for work on the curb every day. This is the London I've chronicled, the city of beggars, black markets and doss houses. Why do they come? Because for men of a trade, for the few, the London dream can be real. I had literally 250 pounds in my pocket uh, and I stayed in a room with a friend of mine, which he was already here. And then, and I went out literally the next day, coming into London, I went out to look for, for the job. I would stand on the corner where you've got all other chaps waiting for the work and I was picked up by the other people and um, that's how it worked those days. Every town in Poland has its London son, the boy who made it. He inspires a hundred more. When all the Poles were coming, people were a little bit cautious about us. Now they're, more, they're much more open, they prefer us to do the building sites and they prefer us to do the building for them um, comparing to the native people, if I put it this way. So if I came from your hometown and I asked you, should I come to London, what would you say? I would say yes, come over. I own three companies at the moment. Uh, I've got some renting properties, rental properties. I own the house. I'm very happy, you know. Do you think your children will be English first or Polish first? Looks like they're going to be English first because um, we speak Polish at home, but they do speak English to each other. They speak perfectly Polish, perfectly English, uh, but they still, I would say, uh, they're going to be more English than Polish. But mostly, migrants clean, wait and guard the Golden City, never to enter. Jessie is from the Philippines. She works as a maid for the absentee owners of a super flat. I have missed my family very much. I left my daughter when she was one year and 11 months old. Because back home, I couldn't earn uh, money to support my family. So I have to make an arrangement with my uh, husband that one of us has to go and one of us has to stay to take care of my daughter. Jessie found work bringing up another child, a little boy. She was a nanny. But when the time came to go, she learnt servants are never part of the family. 
when it comes to the point that we need to uh, to say goodbye it's very hard for us this separation um, I experienced it until now this boy still here in my heart are you still in touch with the boy the parents doesn't want them to or doesn't want him to you know to think about me anymore so uh, they told him that I left London. Yes, because he was crying and crying when I left. At night, London murmurs, a city of African night cleaners, Filipino prayers and Romanian beggars. To be poor in London is to be tired. For years, Wester, like so many others, worked two jobs, cleaning day and night. I had a dream of becoming a system engineer, Microsoft system engineer. And, um, but for now, I think I've kind of gone astray. I'm still not giving up on my dreams. You know, I'm still working on it. I mean, I can't complain. Um, I'm doing well in the cleaning business, so I can't complain. I'm not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> when you told your friends in Ghana you were going to London, what did they say? Well, everybody was happy. Like I said, some people back home think Europe, once you, you, you step foot there, you become you know, a rich man overnight. And even to date, you still have some people calling you and asking you for money. And then even if you tell them you are broke, they tell, nah, you are not. Because when we see your pictures on Facebook, when we see you here, you know, we know you guys are languishing in, you know, I mean, in riches and all that. You're just being a miser, you're just being stingy because you don't want to send us no money. You know, and this is what I want them to know, that life is not all that, you know, milk and roses here in London. Did you find work today? I don't, I don't find, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow is another day, you know. Every day it's another day with a chance, it's, it gives, the London gives one million chance every day, you know. Is it scary at night? Not true, it's uh, of the crazy people. Must uh, be careful in the night, the night is uh, dangerous. London glows in the villages of Africa, Eastern Europe and Asia, stirring up dreams, tempting like the city of Oz. <laughs>